yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day Now we on road, came from Yo, what is good, John? Welcome back to it again Another episode of J.I. Productions It's your boy J.I. And I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys now this video right here is going to be more informative than entertaining, I guess you could say. Um, because basically, I want to tell you guys what happened to me a couple of days ago with Vader. Honestly, I got locked out, bro, as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail. So we're just going to go ahead and jump straight into the video. Let's get it. Alright, y'all. So basically, here it is. My 2021 Camaro SS1LE Vader. So, this is what happened. At about 11.30, this is usually when I go on lunch from work. So, my boy, back to the money, he came back and it was time for me to go on lunch. So, I remote started the car as I normally do because I like to let the car warm up before I drive it. So, the remote started the car, came up to the door, hit the button. As y'all can see, you hit the button, it unlocks and the door opens. I hit the button, the car, all the lights, the parking lights turned on, as you guys can see, this is exactly what it did. However, the door locks did not actuate. So I was hitting the unlock button, but my car was not doing anything. The lights were flashing, but the door locks were not doing anything. Yes, bro. Y'all heard me right. I'm hitting the unlock button on my remote and the car is not doing anything. I don't know what was going on. But the door locks literally just decided not to work um, on this day. So now I'm about to tell you guys how I was able to get in my car and how I was able to get the locks and stuff to work. It was kind of weird. I ain't going to lie. So basically, what I ended up doing was, if you guys didn't know, on, on the key fob, if you press and hold unlock, the windows roll down. So I was able to press and hold the unlock button roll the windows down and then reach in here and grab the door handle twice and the door unlocks I ain't gonna lie that was hella sketchy because when I did it I was like ah oh, damn now my alarm is gonna go off and how am I supposed to get back in the car after I leave um so basically like I was telling y'all the locks the lock function was working but the lock was not like the lock in the door itself was not working so I'm sitting here trying to finesse and finagle now if you guys don't know all Chevy's come with this thing called OnStar which is basically a company that kind of like sits and watches behind computers and they kind of track your car um, they kind of track your car they're basically like an emergency hotline um, if you get in a car accident the car actually notifies them and they'll call 911 for you even if you can't call on your phone by yourself the car will call for you they'll actually call you and talk to you and you can call them and get them to unlock your car remotely so you won't have to have your key you just got to have an account with them and they can literally unlock your car from where they're at it's insane so i got in the car and i called OnStar and I had them go ahead and send a signal to my car to see if the door locks would work and it didn't um, The lady was telling me that she sent the signal and the door should be unlocked But I could literally see that they were still locked So with that being said what I ended up doing was was I popped the trunk and I had to disconnect the battery now I don't know if this has anything to do with when I had on the drag pack in the rear if you guys have been in tune with all the videos, then you guys would have seen that video that I mo most recently dropped talking about possible electrical problems with my car. I don't know if this has anything to do with the that wiring or whatnot, but it was super weird for the car to do this. I've never had this happen to me before. If you guys have experienced anything like this, man, y'all let me know in the comment section down below. What did you guys do to fix that? Because on my fish, um, both of the fifth gens that I've had, I've never had that issue. Um, my boy Money said he never had that issue on either one of his sixth gens. So I don't know, man. 
I don't know, maybe my key is going out and I need to get a new key. I don't know, but that was a little weird, bro. I'm gonna keep it a buck because it was just the door locks, bro. Because the car still sensed the key when I got in the car to turn it on. So obviously, I don't know why this bug is messing with me right now, but obviously the key was working because all of the lights were turned on, the car turned on itself, and I, I just was able to remote start the car still. So I don't know what's going on um or what happened maybe it was a fluke incident or, or what have you i don't know but if you guys have experienced something like this man y'all let me know in the comment section down below so that you know what i'm saying maybe we can you know make a letter or something and send it off to chevy and they can you know do something about this or maybe i'll take the car up to the dealership and just have them do a quick one-off look of the car man and just make sure everything's good bumper to bumper but as you guys know they don't have any rental cars, so we will be without a car. So that's a little sticky, um, but it is what it is. But yeah, man, that's just a quick story time for you guys, man. Something to look out for and just keep your eyes out um, for. I don't know what caused this, bro, but if you watch this video and the next thing you know your car does that, you know you're good because, you know, J.I. went through this. So <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Without further ado, that's actually going to wrap it up for today's video. I'm going to be going to Manny's shop today. Um, and we're going to be figuring out if the ECU on Vader is locked. If it is, then I got to go see if Chuck can put the stock file back on the car. Um, so that way I can get the car tuned uh, from the new tuner. Um, and if it's not, then bet we can go ahead and schedule a tune with the new tuner and get vader actually set up right i already got the new drag pack for vader you guys are gonna love it i can't wait to run it on the car and then after we get this new tune and get everything dialed in for fbo it's time to go boost that's all i'm gonna say i'm not gonna say too much just go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already turn on post notifications and stay tuned because i got a whole bunch of bangers coming man um but without further ado that's gonna wrap it up for this one if you're new to the channel like i said hit that like button hit that subscribe button and uh i'll see you guys in the next one peace let's roll that outro